morning. We are currently about 25 hours out from the start of the race tomorrow. So just before 7 a.m. right now, we are en route to my local trail that I've been training on for a lot of this training block just because it mimics the surface of tomorrow's marathon quite a bit. I just want to make sure that's all nice, familiar to me as we approach the final moments here before the actual race. So yeah, it's pretty cold. Looks like it should be pretty similar tomorrow, if not like a couple degrees cooler. At the start of the race, the whole unusually warm autumn, almost winter heat wave is uh, not something we have to worry about here. So we are good on that end. Doesn't look like it should be too windy either. So I think we have some pretty good cold temperatures, if not bordering on like very cold, but I tend to run pretty well when it is, you know, nearing frigid out. So I definitely feel like super, just like energized, there's zero soreness. I feel completely fresh. Every time I've gone for one of these like last easy runs, I feel like a hungry dog who's trying to run much, much faster, but cannot because we gotta wait till race day to do that. So taper, taper has been absolutely perfect. So yeah. I always forget that as you get into the deeper rural lands here, it gets much colder. It's like 29 here, but I get used to running in the cold. Around 30 minutes for today, somewhere between three and a half, four miles. So nothing big. Let's hit it. It's pretty cold. I might have to go with the thicker gloves for tomorrow. Also, the thought of wearing a thin singlet is not the most appealing in this weather, but I think it should be all right. Let's see how it goes. Half tights feel great done this before but it's so cold my lips are like going numb I can barely talk right now definitely better than the alternatives a little beyond a mile and a half right now about to turn around here in a little bit because that's all it's all for today folks nice short one there you have it 3.8 miles, 29 minutes, 29 seconds. 745 average pace. That's it in the books. Threw in Strider 2, Strider Rooney at the end there. That's the last run in the books. Kind of surreal, always is. Yeah, felt good. All systems go. Let's do this thing. There we go, got the layout. Everything good to go. Got the Lauren. Got the Godfather 2, because that's what you do before a marathon. This is it. This is living in luxury. Oh, 
Oh, feels so good. Does this mean we go to Chicago? Oh. I hope so, because I said that at the end of the video. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Look at that. I think it was two, two hours, 53. 2.53. Yeah. There's the crying mom. <laughs> Well, we did it. We freaking did it. So much, so much hard work, long days, hard runs, so, so much. And I couldn't have dreamed of, hoped for a better day. And, and it was an amazing experience. It was amazing to have so many people there to support me. It's been amazing to have all of you supporting me this whole entire way in accomplishing a goal that at times I thought I would, I would never reach. And I cannot express my happiness, my gratitude enough for all of you for running, for my family, friends, loved ones, everyone. Um, and it's, it's been so amazing, this training block this race day. Boy, it, it went as well as I, I could have hoped. Such an amazing race day. So that's it for the fall 2023 marathon training series, race day vlog, all of it. I'm definitely going to recap race day in a lot more detail in an upcoming video. Definitely going to talk about plenty that went into this race, which again was my absolute best experience, my best race day that I have had. So look forward to doing that. Look forward to catching up with all of you and yeah. Couldn't be happier. We will catch up soon. Peace.